The long and pandemic disrupted HSBC BWF World Tour 2021 season is nearing its end and the jostling for a spot at the year-ending final is reaching a climax. The top eight ranked players or pairs of each discipline from the calendar year's circuit will battle in Bali for five days for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021 crown. In the next half an hour, we'll relive the winning moments and unforgettable scenes from the matches of past champions. This is the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021 preview show. You need to have consistent results all year to make it to the playing field. Once there, you could lose a group match and still win the title. That's the uniqueness of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. You know, different about the, the World Tour Finals and, and, and an event like that is that you can still, you can lose a match and still move on to the semis. And I actually did that in both events there. Um, so I managed to come back after having, you know, a, a defeat and that's, uh, you know, that takes some character and I learned a lot from that. In this year's men's singles field, Victor Axelsson is definitely the man to beat after claiming the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. The 27-year-old has won the season ender twice, back in 2016 and 2017, and still has fond memories of his first triumph in Dubai five years ago. Well, I think the first one is definitely the most uh, um, memorable. I think, you know, it was one of my first big titles. Um, I played some really good matches there and I won some you know, really big games uh, and uh, to, the final was a really tough match against uh, Chen Hui. Um, I was down in the third game and managed to come back, so yeah, it was a big win for me. It was his first major career title since turning pro in 2010 and before that victory he'd lost six tour finals between 2015 and 2016. The 2016 tournament group stage also saw him beating Malaysia's number one Lee Chong Wei for the first time in 10 encounters. That milestone win over the player he looked up to since he was a kid paved the way for his first success in the tournament as he beat China's Tian Hao Wei in three games in the final. In his seventh Super Series tournament final, finally wins the first ever Super Series title. It's been a long time waiting. A year later, at the same Hamdan Sports Complex, Axelsson went all the way to the final to face Lee. But he soon found himself on the back foot, losing the first game in 1921. The Dane managed to dig deep and found a way to win. It's landed in. It's one game all. Misjudgment there from Lee Chong Wei. That's got long. As a challenge here Chang from Lee Chong Wei. Desperate hope that Hawkeye is not working. Yeah. I did look out from even where we're sitting. So five match points Sounds for Victor Axelson. Obviously, you know, playing against a, a player and a legend like Lee Chong Wei is really physically demanding. You know, he has been playing in a lot of finals and been winning many titles. So for me personally, it was about mentally and physically staying in the game. And in the end, it paid off. It was a really tough game, both mentally and physically. So again, I learned a lot from that match. And uh, yeah, um, it's one match which I will always remember. The Dane came close to clinching a third at the 2020 edition, which was played earlier this year in Bangkok 
but was shocked by compatriot Anders Antonsen in the final, ending his 29 match unbeaten run. That's wide. Oh. Okay. And he's done it. Anders Antonsen has won the World Tour Finals. You know, after that uh, game, I haven't lost many matches. You know, for me, you know, I don't expect myself to be winning all the time. I only expect myself to do my best and to, to keep going and to keep working hard. And it has, it has paid off for me. And, uh, you know, I'm just really happy that I already qualified for the tournament because it's such a fun event. It's, you know, just a great experience to be a part of. So I'm really much looking forward to it. In men's doubles, we're featuring more multiple winners. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan of Indonesia, who have three titles from the season-ending tournament under their belts. Their maiden win was almost a decade ago in 2013 at the BWF Super Series Finals in Kuala Lumpur. Oh, and they've done it. A second Super Series Finals title. For Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, two years after their first, what a tremendous final so. In 2015, they secured their second in Dubai after overcoming Chai Biao and Hong Wei of China in the final. One of the most unforgettable plays of that tournament came from their semi-final match against the top-seeded Korean pair of Lee Yong Dae and Yu Yong Xiong. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. This is extraordinary. What a rally. Ya kalau main lawan mereka juga pasti berkesan ya karena pasti mau menang mau kalah pasti capek pasti nggak mudah gitu jatuh bangun lagi. That was extraordinary. What a rally! But for the daddies, their latest quest in Guangzhou two years ago was the most memorable of their three victories. Saya rasa ini 19 ya. Karena ya terutama kita emang udah udah muda lagi, kita juga sempat berpisah ya. Kita mulai dari nol lagi dan ternyata kita masih bisa dapat gelar itu. Jadi emang ya sesuatu yang buat luar biasa buat kita. It definitely wasn't easy for the pair, whose combined age of 67 was almost a decade more than most of their opponents. But alongside that came experience as they fought all the way to the final in which they faced Hiroki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. Oh my goodness, how did he get that? Brilliant! Well, there's certainly no lack of effort. Unbelievable. Ya, lawan mereka kan harus emang harus sabar ya. Kenapa nggak boleh buru-buru? Memang mereka bisa nyebab rapat banget. Jadi ya kita memang harus sabar aja sih sama mereka. It's a very good rally, and almost certainly the longest rally of the match so far. Patience paid off as the Indonesians edged the Japanese 24-22 in the first game. In the second, Asan and Setiawan were trailing 10-16 at one stage, 
came back and erased the deficit to even the score at Itinor. And they're back level. And on their second match point, Asan fired the winning shot. A third title for Asan and Sedia won. Two years have passed. Now at the combined age of 71, the daddies are still a force to reckon with. Still to come after the break, Pusala V. Sindhu recalls her storybook run in Guangzhou three years ago. Welcome back to our HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021 preview show. We've enjoyed a lot of Pusala V. Sindhu's incredible footwork on court, but this is something we don't usually see. The Indian ace shared her dance moves on her social media just before she was conferred the Padma Bhushan Award, her country's third highest civilian award in early November, as recognition for her achievements in badminton. Of course, when I started playing badminton, it was my passion. And I worked hard and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you win some and you lose some, but I think uh, it's very important that you believe yourself and have that hope. And yeah, I mean, I've been working hard and I'm very thankful to my parents uh, and my coaches uh, and my support staff because they've been, um, you know, very, very uh, uh, helpful all the time. And uh, of course, my parents have sacrificed a lot of things. So I think, yeah, uh, because of them, I'm here today and I'm very happy about it. Sindhu has risen to be a top-ranked shuttler over the years, winning titles across the globe. But her victory at the 2018 HSBC BWF World Tour Finals still played a key part in shaping up her mental strength on court. I think those kinds of wins give, gives you a lot of motivation and support uh, to uh, work more harder and go to a higher level. And definitely I think that win has given me a lot of boost and uh, a lot of confidence, I would say. And uh, yeah, I'm very, I was very happy about it and I think Game-wise, also have been improving, and uh, that conference, with that conference, I've worked harder, and I've come come up to here. The tournament was held in Guangzhou, and in the first couple of days, Sindhu beat the world's top two players, Tai Tzu Ying and Akane Yamaguchi, in the group stage. Kiwi Sindhu takes this opening match in the group. Yamaguchi actually losing balance a bit here. For the first time in seven meetings, Kusala Venkata Sindhu records a fourth victory in total over the world number one, Tai Su Ying. What a thrilling match. Fantastic mid play. That's it. A fitting way to end a, a terrific match. It's a wonderful semi-final. You have to feel for Incidon, who gave it absolutely everything. She then moved on to eliminate Thailand's Rachinok Intanon in the semis to face Japanese Nozomi Okuhara for the ultimate prize. Third game point opportunity. Defensive shot by Sindhu. Short. Yes. Yeah. Sindhu had finished runner up at the previous edition in Dubai was also the bridesmaid in her past seven finals in all competitions. But the Indian superstar finally broke the curse to seal the tie 21-19-21-17. Only needed the one. And Pusala Venkata Sindhu 
becomes the first player from India to win a title at the end of year finale. Uh, that's one of the special moments I would say because back then in 2018, uh, I think that year I, I almost played six to seven finals and I lost in the finals. But I think World Tour finals was the one where I, I actually got the championships. Until then I was getting a silver medal. So definitely that's a special one for me. Sindhu failed to progress to the knockout stage at the last two editions. But she's more prepared to deliver this time around. Now we have continuous back to back three tournaments. So I think um, after one and a half two weeks we play the World Tour finals. And uh, definitely I think the top eight players will be playing that. So everybody is going to be in a very good form. Uh, it's just that you know I make sure that uh, I have to recover well and give my 100% each match because uh, I think World Finals is something where you just play with the best eight players in the world. So yeah, I have to be prepared and I hope and um, I wish that I do well. Japan's double specialist Misaki Matsutomo was a two-time winner at the year-end tournament. She first won it with Ayaka Takahashi back in 2014, following their victory over the Chinese pairing of Tianjin and Zhao Yunlei. It was a match featuring numerous long rallies, including this epic 130 shots. They're going for the record, the tournament record. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it? It was. 130. Despite losing this point, the Japanese duo's astonishing defence helped them win points at crucial moments. And in the end, the top-seeded Japanese prevailed to beat Tian and Tao, the world champions back then, in straight games. So they're planning to break the record. Oh, third time of asking. An obvious delight for the Japanese pair. They had a chance to win it again in 2016, okay. but came short in the final, losing to Chinese pair Chen Ching Chen and Tia Yu Fan in three games. Two years later in Guangzhou, they were through to the semi finals as group winners, winning all three matches they played. The pair went on to get past Du Ye and Li Yunhui in the last four, when the Chinese duo retired in the middle of the second game. Facing Korea's Lee So Hee and Shin Seung Chan in the final, the Japanese pair dominated the opening game to take a 21-12 lead. What a great interception to close out the opening game. The second game was more evenly contested, but Matsutomo and Takahashi still managed to take a 2016 lead. Oh, that's great speed from Mizaki Matsutomo. Then suddenly they found themselves under pressure as the Koreans rallied back to 20 all. Straight down the middle of Flutter Smash and it landed in. They, however, were able to regroup to take the next two points to win the tournament for the second time. On their fifth match point opportunity. <laughs> It was a year to remember as they won six titles in total. あの、強い手や3、4、3、3対戦とも強い手だったので、あの、初戦から、あの、全部いい試合が、あの、できて、あの、優勝することができたので、とてもいい思い出に残っている大会です。そうですね。まあ、うん、なんていうの、優勝した
一試合一試合あのこう自分たちが成長できるようにさらにあのもっともっといろんなことができてあのいろんなプレーができるようになってもっと強くなれるようにっていうことを思って、まあ、毎回やってたので。まあ、その中でまあ優勝できたりあの負けたりっていうことを繰り返しながら成長することができたのでっていう感じです。はい We turn our attention now to the 2020 edition of the World Tour Finals for Mixed Doubles. Held in Bangkok and rescheduled to January this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Dechapol Puavaranukro and Sapsiri Teratanachai went all the way in the season finale to become the first Southeast Asian winners in the category. The Thai duo came into the competition with great form, having won back-to-back -back titles in the first two stops of the three-legged series in their home country, but met a roadblock when they were beaten by Seo Sung Jae and Cho Yu Jong in the second group match. It feels disappoint yeah, because I don't know I can got uh, into the semi-final or not. The Thais won their third group match but also needed the already qualified Koreans to win theirs. Seo and Che did just that. Korea play their best and then we can go into the semi-final. Fate separated the pairings in the semi-final draw but their strengths put them on collision course again in the final as they outclassed their opponents. It was a neck and neck affair between the home favourites and the Koreans. Oh my goodness. Oh, ask flat exchanges there. Great defence from Seven the Thai over. pair. Four. In the final, they play in the same same way, and we try to control and to attack them. The Thai pairing's aggressive strategy worked well, and they widened the gap midway to lead 18-12. Seo and Che didn't give up and fought their way back. Oh, thought how about the game wide? That's a lovely block. Yeah. That's a lovely block by Che Yujun. Yeah, that's what she needs to do. 16, she needs to play these 18. block shots. Another block and move yeah. See how well he's keeping the attack. Yeah. Yeah, you have to admire that. Absolutely. 18. Oh. Six unanswered points, and it's all square at 18 all. Poivre and Terra Tanachai needed to steady the ship and did that just in time. Yeah, I think that was going out. Yeah. yeah. For the opening game, 21 18. First game won by the Subsidy Terra Tanachai, 21 18. The Koreans struck back in the second, storming to a seven-love lead and never looked back. It's all-out attack mm. by the Koreans. Oh yes, well worked by the Korean pair. My so goodness. interesting Nine to see how quickly Su Su Jae is up yeah. there closing the gap. Seo and Che in total control as they took the game 21-8 to restore parity. Poivre Ranukro and Terra Tanachai, though, were unruffled and adjusted their tactics. We try to faster than them. Yeah. If we faster and can attack before, so we'll get the point. This is more like the pace. What a rally. Yeah, oh, what, a, what a way to brilliant. finish it. And they did move faster right from the get-go of the decider. The Thai pairing were unstoppable as they powered through the third game to seal their third title in a row and become the first shufflers from their country to win the season-ending tournament.
sheer delight for whoever new throw and tear at Tanachai. That's all from us for the special preview of the HSBC World Tour Finals 2021. For more news and features on the finals, log on to bwfworldtourfinals.bwfbadminton.com. Remember to mark the dates 1st to 5th of December and catch the action live to find out who will be the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021 champions.